here today to uh, speak about a, uh, an incredible opportunity which is in uh, the northeastern part of the United States and that is the Marcellus Shale natural gas. The Marcellus Shale describes a natural, natural gas play in Pennsylvania that has created jobs and economic growth even in the most difficult of economic times. It is one of the largest deposits of natural gas in the world and much of it is located in my district. However, the play is deep down and requires a process called fracking in which water, sand, and approved chemicals are pressured into the play to fracture the shale to release the gas. Now, this, this process has come under criticism and has been the subject of a great deal of inaccurate information, both in the media and a so-called documentary called Gasland. Fracking has been used for 100 years, hydrofracking for 60 years. The safety is documented with zero confirmed cases of groundwater contamination in one million applications over that 60 years. The director of the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's Bureau of Oil and Gas Management has said that he has never seen an impact to fresh groundwater directly from fracking. Another piece of incorrect information is that no one knows what goes into, into fracking fluid. Well, first of all, more than 99.5% of the fluid is sand and water. For the remainder, Pennsylvania law requires companies to disclose all chemicals used in the fracking process, just not the specific formula. A complete list of those chemicals is available on the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection website. They include materials that help deliver the water down the well bore and position the sand in the tiny fractures created in the formation. And one of the more prominent substances is guard gum, most commonly used as an emulsifier in ice cream. Now there are contentions that fracking is not well regulated. To, to the contrary, eight federal and 11 Pennsylvania acts or laws regulate the impacts of drilling. The film Gasland goes so far as to assert that the quote, I quote from the film, the 2005 energy bill pushed through by Congress by Dick Cheney exempts the oil and natural gas industries from the Clean Water Act, the Clean Air Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, the Superfund law, and about a dozen other environmental and democratic regulations, end quote. Well, that is patently false. It must comply with all these laws with the caveat that the hydraulic fraction process was never regulated under the Safe Drinking Water Act in its 60-year history. And that particular energy bill was supported by 74 yes votes in the Senate, including those at the, at the time of Senators Obama and Salazar. Most alarmingly, Gasland has a stunning scene of a man turning on a tap, sticking a lighter under it and watching it ignite. Gasland blames natural gas development for the flaming faucet. But the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission wrote, quote, dissolved methane in well water appears to be biogenic. Madam Speaker, that means naturally occurring in origin. There are no indications of oil and gas related impacts to well water. But perhaps the most telling repudiation of this film comes from John Hanger, Secretary John Hanger of the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, who for 10 years was President and CEO of the environmental organization called Citizens for Pennsylvania's Future. He appears briefly in the film. John Hanger says the film was fundamentally dishonest, his words, and quote, deliberately false presentation for dramatic effect. And he called the producer a propagandist. Now I'm 100% behind producing natural gas in a safe and environmentally sound way. If there are violations of the rules or laws, either state or federal, we rely on the good offices of the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection to do whatever is necessary to bring enforcement to the situation. They have proven to be capable and aggressive. Gas drill creates jobs and economic growth and contributes to our energy security in this country. It needs to be done right with environmental protection, but it doesn't deserve that doesn't educate, but sim serves simply to demonize an industry for personal gain and political reasons. Thank you, Madam Speaker.